I'm Kirsten Jenkins, style editor of Delicious. This is my brown sugar salmon, beetroot and fennel salad. A mandolin is such a versatile piece of equipment in the kitchen and I'm using the fennel to slice very thinly. I love putting fennel in the iced water to give it curves, but also too, you really need lemon juice because it browns. Beetroot is another great thing to slice on a mandolin and it's got a really great contrast of colour to the fennel. And I am not using a guard, but please remember that probably at home it's a great idea. So I pickle the beetroot with brown sugar and apple cider vinegar, a really simple combination. And then later on, we will add olive oil to make your dressing. I've turbocharged the flavours in this salmon by pickling it or curing it slightly before roasting till just cooked. I love flaking salmon but keeping it in big pieces so when it's combined with other ingredients it doesn't break down too much. I now have all my ingredients ready to go, all the elements of the dish. Think of styling as a paint by numbers and my first layer for this is fennel. Don't be afraid to add more later but this is your starting point. Next, I'm adding the red vein sorrel. I chose this leaf because it has a beautiful contrast of colour. The purple picks up the beetroot and the green is your very heavy leaf. Now I'm adding the beetroot layer and the beetroot is my real standout colour of this dish. So I'm putting it in areas where my eye will be directed to. Now I'm adding the salmon and like I said before, I really like to keep it in bigger flaked pieces so that your eye is drawn to that as well. I've placed down my first layer of ingredients and now I can see the spots where I can add more. Don't be afraid to layer. I have pickled my beetroot and now I'm ready to make a quick and easy dressing from this. Simply add olive oil and your dressing is ready. And I love using a dressing to fall in onto the white plate in the spaces that you've left. A dressing of this beautiful colour is always lovely to add on the side. So I've included a little small dish so the colour really pops. When I'm shooting for the magazine, I'm thinking about so many different elements and a big one is the background. With this dish, I've decided to put it on a beautiful linen cloth or a combination of the two so they overlap. Always think about your background in relation to the colours, the textures and the shapes of the food. I always wait until the last minute just before the photo is taken to add the final seasoning. Don't feel restrained by the actual plate you're using. The rest of the background is yours to work with as well, so salt and pepper falling onto the cloth adds to the shot. This is the perfect example of a substantial salad.